Today we're drinking A&W Cream Soda. I honestly haven't had this in quite a while, but it tastes just like I remember it. Mm. <laughs> Disappointment all the way around. <laughs> What's going on guys and welcome <laughs> back to another episode of Customer Commentary. Today I got my neighbor on, <laughs> my neighbor Nate. <laughs> Where do, you, where do you work? Oh, I work at a, you know, local grocery store. Local uh, grocery store. Yeah, essential worker right now, believe it or not. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> During this crisis. Yeah, wonderful times. So what do you do at this grocery store? I make pizzas, actually. You make They're pizzas? Pretty essential pizzas. What are some stories you have? Oh, <laughs> start with a real good one. Great customer. I was working with someone else at the time. I forget who. I think Brandon or Dylan. And... The guy was coming up, getting the pizza, whatever, trying to make conversation in just the crazy way that he does. To, but to Brandon, and Brandon did not want to talk to him, so he tries pawning him off on me. Because Brandon was, like, talking about his band. He goes, oh, you know, Nate listens to, like, this artist, which I don't even know who it was. Like, <laughs> um, whoever the fuck it is that, like, does Oh Sherry. Rick Perry. Is that who oh. it is? Yeah. Whereas, oh, you know, Nathan Fair or Rick Perry and all that. I was like, I'm not. I've only listened to his song. So he keeps talking to Brandon, but now gets weirder. He goes, oh, man, you know, I'm in this great band. I sing all the time, and I'll be singing on stage. And everyone, uh, when I get off, they will say, oh, my God, you sound just like Rick Perry. I don't know how you're not more fan. Like, all the girls are coming up. They're kissing me, rapping themselves. I can't fend them all. It's just, uh, people just love me after I perform music for them. And, and we're just like, sir, we don't think that's true. Your fr the friends you bring in this store <laughs> tell you to stop talking. Like, please. Uh, you know, there's a lot about him. He also constantly complains because I guess he doesn't have teeth. He only has dentures. So he's like, oh, oh I never cook my pizza too much. You know, it needs to be light. I can't chew it. I Every day, every time he gets a pizza, he mentions that. So he always wants to make, look at it as we're cooking it, make sure it's light. And I show it to him. I look, I was like, oh, does this look good? He's like, yeah, that looks good. What about the b underneath? I was like, yeah, there's the underneath. He's like, oh, it looks perfect. Cut it, give it to him, cash him out. And he takes five steps away, opens the box, picks up a piece, flips it over, drops it in the box, goes, oh, man, this won't do. It's overcooked. <laughs> a after, mind you, I showed it to yeah. him. And he went, this is good. Immediately was like, oh, that's no good. Can't do it. And then let me guess, you have to call the... You have to call the store director or Tom. It was a uh, Bob at that point. Oh, uh, yeah, oh, good old Bob. That's right. That's right. Um, called Bob and I was like, "Hey, you know, it's this guy. Just give it. Just give him what he wants. I don't want to see him." And Bob just ended it at that. We explained who. We just said who it was. But, uh, but he said, "I don't. Oh, I don't understand that logic. Like they. It's kind of like how in the deli when my brother was on and he was talking about like, oh yeah, you show him the slice and then they're like." You start stacking it, and they're like, oh, that's too thick. And it's like, what are you talking about? We <laughs> literally yeah. just showed you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'd say he's nice, but he loses it real quick. <laughs> like, I just, I don't understand. Like, he, you, you, you show him. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, that's perfect. Yeah. He walks, he walks away. Oh, that's not good. I want you to redo it. <laughs> yeah. So you think he's just being a jerk? Or do you? No, I don't think so, because he genuinely, like, he's apologetic the whole time. I just think he's, I don't know, like, I don't want to just say crazy, because that's shitty to say, but, <laughs> sometimes, man. Sometimes people are just crazy. Yeah. He has one friend who uh, recently came in with him, and they were getting a pizza. And also, didn't specify, along with getting it lightly cooked, he gets a super specific. Like, he always, it's like, extra, extra sauce, extra, extra cheese lightly cook it has to be a specific amount of extra sauce not too much extra not too little so he's now agreed on do like you know three and a half maybe three and a quarter scoops of sauce two full bags of cheese though wow a and then lightly cook that coming in with a friend and he's like you know my order and his friend was there with him and he's like oh extra sauce and his friend goes Oh, actually, I do. Why would you get saw? It's terrible. And he just thought, him and his friend just start arguing in front of me for like 30 seconds over sauce. And then I was like, all right, fine. We can get the extra sauce. It's like, okay, extra cheese. And the guy goes, how much is this pizza going to cost you? <laughs> I start arguing again. Now about extra cheese. I'm like, fine. <laughs> start going on. Get half pepperoni. And he goes, all right, we'll get pepperoni in half. Well, I don't like pepperoni, man. And it, 
so he's like, picky. Yeah, you know, it wasn't even his friend who said, I don't like pepperoni. Joe himself was like, let's get pepperoni. I don't like it, though. <laughs> he was trying to get it for his friend. So but, and then he was like, well, what about the other half? I was like, oh, can we get hamburgers? Like, yeah. I just let you know. I have to come. Come puts on raw. So we have to cook that fully. And <laughs> I was like, all right, that's fine. You know, that sounds good. And I read back the orders like, this sounds good. They're like, yeah. And then the guy starts arguing. He's like, I really don't know why you're getting extra sauce. It's, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> it just start. <laughs> <laughs> and I just start arguing again. And I'm just standing there, silent, looking at them. And they stop. I you're go, just waiting. You're just like, <laughs> come on. I want to I wanna get this started. Let's I'm, go. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. It's like, so is this fine or is anything changing? I was like, no, nothing's changed. I'm like, all right. I start making it. And then he, he comes back and he goes, hey, man. I know before we were getting the hamburger. I'm going to take that off. You know, we're not getting that. That'll cost too much for us. By the way, it would have cost like 15 bucks, but, you know. Was it, is it a, like when you already have had it all on? No. Okay, I had, thank goodness. I had just started like cheesing it and he came up and was like, hey, do, you know, forget the hamburger. We don't want it anymore. Thank, good, thank goodness it wasn't like you had already had it all made. I, dude. And then pulling it lightly cooked, I pull out. That looks good for lightly cooked. And friend goes, mm, "It looks too light for me." And I'm like, "I, <laughs> I, I can't." But <laughs> you have to. Maybe, find maybe they should each get their own pizza, dude. I you almost, would think that would be the I, solution. I almost wanted to suggest that, but they would have been there longer. <laughs> they probably would have been judging each other's pizzas. Probably. <laughs> but then, throw it in like. Five more seconds, barely to make a change, pull it out, and the guy's like, all right, you know what? That's as good as it's going to get for me. They take it, and then I put our registers closed currently because we can't take money, and I hand them, and he just starts, like, putting money on the counter. Like, no, 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 you can't cash out. I was like, oh, no, I have enough cash. Like, no, that sign right there says we're closed because of this. He goes, oh, okay. And he just stands for a second, like, she got to take the pizza, pay up front. He's like, gotcha. And just takes it and walks away, and then... He, Gets out of sight, comes back into sight, yells, hey, you have a good day, man. <laughs> and then wow. <laughs> At least he was nice. Yeah, you know, that was one of the more... Just very picky customers, <sighs> judging very... each other on yeah. their toppings they want. Oh, yeah, this one guy, short but sweet of this one, pick up the phone, you know, oh, what can I get you, all that. He orders it, and he asks for spinach. We just had none whatsoever. Like, we didn't, the people who we take it from didn't, and I'm like... Oh, sorry, we don't have any spinach right now. And I think he specifically asked, do you have spinach right now? I said, no, currently we don't. I, you know, asked, and he, he stopped me and went, listen, I don't mean to be a dick right now, <laughs> but I talked to your manager on the phone one day, and he said, you're a grocery store, damn it. You always have spinach, and you'll get me spinach for my pizza. And I was like, well, I don't, one, don't think my manager worded it like that. Oh, 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 or two, the... <laughs> lead, leading with not to be a dick, and then was pretty much like, fuck you, yeah. asshole. <laughs> like, no offense, but it's like, obviously I'm going to take offense. <laughs> yeah, I was like, and I was just like, I mean, I can see a produce has some, and we get some, and he still came in upset, and was just like, was that hard getting me spinach? You're a grocery. I don't know how you can ever run out of something. It's are, impossible in here. Are you even allowed to go into the store and just take stuff off the shelves? Yes and no. Yes we're, and no. <laughs> we're, we're supposed to like only take stuff with our branding on it, but certain things we just don't have branding of. And also, like when there was the big like E. coli breakout with romaine lettuce, they were like, hey, just don't take anything from produce right now. It's like even if it's just the one thing, just yeah. just don't touch anything. But yeah. Oh my god, this one guy repeatedly got free pizzas or free replacements or future setups for free. He'd always like every pizza would have something wrong with it. But he's also ordering a way to set up something wrong with it. Like when making the pizza you have to pop the bubbles so they don't push all the ingredients or burn or yeah, all that. That makes sense. And he was like, Hey, can you not pop the bubbles? My kids like love the bubbles and they love to pop it themselves. So like And we're like just to let you know, it's going to, like, push the ingredients, like, off the pizza, and it's also going to burn. He's like, oh, that's fine. I just want to pop the bubbles. We let a man, we let manager know, blah, blah, blah. He says, all right, yeah, fine, do it. We do that, give him the pizza. He goes, oh, thanks, guys. Leaves. Ten minutes later, he's back with, like, different manager, and he's like, you got this guy saying you burnt the hell out of his pizza? It was like, we just did what you had. And he was like, and when we say it, I was like, we're not going to be able to make you a second one and not pop the bubbles if you want, like, an unburnt pizza. Yeah. But they just gave him his money back and gave him a refund for that. Or gave him his money back and then gave him a second pizza for free. And he got a refund? Yeah. 
So he, wow. So yeah, so he, he walked away with like two pizzas for free. That's, that's nuts. Another time he uh, came in, most of the times are just similar, but this one, made his pizza, no like special things asked about it, whatever. During winter time, he leaves the store after paying, and then he comes back with a manager, and the manager's like, hey, or no, he doesn't even come back with the manager. He comes talk to us first, and then we get the manager for him. He's like, hey, I just slipped in the parking lot on some ice. Can I get, like, a free pizza because of that? And he has the box there, and we call the manager open, and he's like, oh, yeah, I did it here. This is my car. This is where I'm parked. You know, I slipped on ice. And he's showing the box, and there's a footprint on top of the box. There's, like, clearly marks on the box where he, like, held it and crushed it in his hands. And he opens the box and it's all just like crumpled together. And he's like, oh, I was walking and I slipped and the box left my hands and the pizza flew on the ground. So I just put it back in the box. And I was like, just based alone on how the footprint on there, you wouldn't need to <laughs> slip. The, pe the box open, the pizza fly out, the box close again, land before him and his foot land on it. And then him land on it the rest of the way. Yeah. What? I, I have a feeling that's impossible. I do too. I feel like that's uh, improbable. Yeah. Um, but so Bob leaves and he's like, start making this pizza. Bob leaves. He comes back to the guy and he's like, so. And he hands him like an incident report to be like, oh, you know, in case you're injured, this is, you know, blah, blah, blah. You can't yeah. sue us. Um, and he's like, I go out to where you said you slipped. There's not a speck of ice in the parking lot whatsoever. Was there pizza on the ground? Um, they, I mean, he really didn't look for that. He didn't say anything about that. Just that there was no ice. That's because it's like, that's what I would look for, too, is like... Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's got to be some form of sauce to, like, <laughs> topping or something. But, yeah, he's like, oh, there's no ice. He's like, oh, I don't know, you know, I slipped on some ice. It was something, lost my traction. He's like, well, in case you are at, actually slipped on some ice, I didn't see, you are injured. You're still, you'll get this pizza for free, but you're not getting any money back. <laughs> but still... Good. Yeah, <laughs> but still, like... Good, versus the guy who fucking called on purpose to screw you guys up. Oh, same and guy. Got... It was the same dude? That's the same guy. That's the same guy, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he always do something to where it's, like, every time. That's the like, same guy? Up. Same guy. He's done, like, eight different things to the point where it was so bad that the man is just went, you're never getting a free pizza again. I don't care if they turn it into a frisbee. You're not getting money back. You're getting nothing free. <laughs> I was like, because he just kept always complaining. Good. He's like, I bet you were just like, I don't think every single pizza you get every time is messed up. Good. I hate that shit when fucking managers like bend over backwards for customers because that's what gives them that attitude. Like, yeah, we're better than you and we can treat you like shit and you yeah. have to do what we say. And it's like, no, we have fucking rules. It's just sometimes our managers are like, yo, we'll bend them for yeah. you. Yeah. Oddly enough, uh, since they said he gets no more free pizza, hasn't come back. Uh, doesn't surprise <laughs> me. Maybe he started going to, like, the Ludlow store yeah, or yeah. the Ware store. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember to like the video, comment the video, subscribe if you want to see videos similar to this. Click the bell. Ding. Yeah, you get, <laughs> so you get notified when we upload. Logan Paul says that. He's successful. Yes, he's successful. Trying to be just like Logan and Jake Paul. Go to the forest, film a corpse. Oh, God. Listen, everyone makes mistakes, guys. It was a mistake. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. See ya. Bye.